How you doing today? My name is Diallo Burt. I'm the owner and creator of a Green Earth Now, which is a green energy startup. Doing startup phases for a year and a half. Right now, I'm taking online classes to bring my business to fruition. But before all that, I want to talk to you about me, my business, and about how I came to where I am today. So, I'm from College Park, Georgia, which is the hood, or, you know, not the nicest part of Georgia. Grew up, single mother, father, lived in College Park, but you know, another one around and stuff. Same city, ain't seen that man too much, except for when my uncle died. Most ever seen him, man. So, I always been smart growing up. They tested me for the talent and gifted early. They said I wasn't creative enough. <laughs> That's funny since now I rely on creativity. Probably made me work on my creative side. Realized I was a, a very creative kid. I was more physical, more math, science orientated. But, as I say, mature grow later on very smart little kid Valley Victoria in my fifth grade class into contests and stuff you know I was an agriculture ball team came in second cuss bull but it's all back in the day you know I was in talented gifted classes since seventh grade dropped out of ninth because I'm bored ended up going to early college at Bart College at Simon's Rock where I refined my skills, became the individual I am, and actually had my life derailed. So, after 11th grade, I went to college early. I thought I went to the pro on my little, my little ex and everything, the girl used to date. But after that, I went to Bard College at Simon Rock for a couple of years. A little private, non profit school, though they charge you 10000 a year. It's like a non-profit, they charge you 10000 a year, dang. Sound like a non-profit to me. Very small, very work-orientated. Wasn't the best work-orientated student back then. Probably still not. Still think I got undiagnosed ADHD. They say I'm bipolar. Might be a little bit of both. That's why they say I'm crazy. But starting in 10th grade, start working on business ideas. Started with Toyota, ideas were good. Started doing little ideas. Ideas were good. Very good. Another great. I took a bioinformatics class where well, I came up with an idea to prove commonality, which is Darwin's theory of evolution. Everything came from one thing. I was saying that all bacteria and viruses are related. I was going to prove that through genetics. If you look at it, most viruses, most organisms do share common DNA, common strands. We only made of the elements that are on the planet. Most of those are common throughout the universe, except for a couple of elements that aren't found on Earth. But other than that, I also was combining bacteria to make an ethanol bacteria. It's going to use sunlight and capture CO2. So I was going to take CO2 out of the air and put it into the fuel in a fuel efficient process. So it would be no net emissions. It would just be the carbon that was already out there. It would be like making gasoline for start. So I came up with that idea. My teacher, Don Roder used to be in the military he told me it wouldn't work I said I, I think the idea would work because it would just basically use the sugar from the bacteria ethanol is a substrate of most chemical processes we produce alcohol when we run too much and we sweat you know you don't get enough oxygen in and you produce acid actually on your muscles and that's why your muscles start hurt so I was like, you can actually put a stop protocol in and make ethanol and gasoline pretty cheap because gas is pretty high at that time. 
So, instead of me developing the idea, a top secret government company called Jewel Unlimited came out with the research. Said they started a few months before me. I came up with an idea in January of 2011. They said they started November of 2010, like three months before me. But they were still running into problems and it didn't look very reputable to me. Felt like they were ripping me off trying to steal my idea. So I voiced my concerns. My school, even though like I had told them my idea and everything before the research even came out, it's just like it was top secret government research that only a few companies knew about or something. Probably disinformation, as I say. They probably like do a whole bunch of like fake pages out or something. I don't know. Might be crazy. Like I said, it's up to you to decide. Because at any of the video, once you check out my ideas and everything, and if you think I'm crazy, give me a thumbs down. If you think I'm not, give me a thumbs up. But, like I was saying, the company said they started November. It was kind of weird because it was a billion dollar idea and everything. My teacher was telling me it wasn't going to work. But basically, a government with top secret research came up with the same idea. And I was pretty mad. So in February, when they came out with the research on Yahoo, as far as I could see, that's my first mention of any algae that could produce ethanol or anything. That was my idea, as I think. I don't think it was them. But after I came out with that, my school basically started messing with me and stuff. I had to start taking days off, all that. Finally, in April, 2011 I ended up going to the crazy hospital got shot in the leg one of those shots woke up in the hospital for three days it was a bull like as a protocol 13 or something if I was a danger to myself or other people which I was not I was just saying that I believe the school had took my idea and gave it to the government which I would say was illegal because I was saying I was gonna actually do it I was working on it and everything I was saying I would, might drop out of school you know, I was thinking about improving the world and being an example for black people in science. So we all have too many black people in science. But as I said, it never worked out. I started coming up with other ideas, putting it on Google. They started showing up all over the place before Google came out with their new privacy rules. And then I stopped putting my ideas on Google with my own website www.agreenearthnow start entering contests I haven't won yet because it's a bull I think it's because I'm crazy it would be illegal it would be discrimination based on disability I might be slightly crazy but I told you I was labeled crazy because I believe the government stole my ethanol idea which is worth billions I did <laughs> and could have helped bring gasoline down could make a lot of money. I wasn't really in it for the money. Protect the environment and all the extra. The way they would have did it, which was using the salmonella bacteria, would actually take all our water and turn it to gasoline. Would actually poison our water. You couldn't get all. Uh, you couldn't drink the gasoline because ethanol is like alcohol. You actually drink it, but you couldn't drink that because it's made from uh, E. coli which produce toxins and everything go really fast but it's pretty bad for you so like I said a lot of my ideas start showing up all over the place from Google came up with my own idea website a green earth now so I put my ideas on YouTube you can check them out like I said think I'm crazy give me a thumbs down think I'm not give me a thumbs up check me out to y'all Burke you know what I'm saying? I don't think I'm crazy. Just a little bit. <laughs> but just I'm a little bit crazy. Everybody's a little bit crazy. Everybody's supposed to be different. That's why I think crazy is. Means you're different. But I think I'm really smart. Smart black guy. You should try to encourage that. Not discourage it. Lock him up in a crazy hospital. That shit. Take away your freedom. It's like the whole prison pipeline. I was in the education system, ended up dropping out, 
on disability now. That's all good. No longer a patriot. I no longer support America because I feel like it's for the rich, not for the common folk. It's really not. Even with Obama and health care, he basically pays off doctors, gives a lot of money in Massachusetts. He's really not for raising taxes on the rich, not too much, or he would have been raised taxes on the rich. Uh, I pretty much think Obama's a sellout because of the green energy industry and all the cylinders and all that. Chicago politics, all that. Uh, he's used to. It's just crazy stuff. <laughs> But like I said, check me out.